game is an episode that introduces two things. First, it's uh, the amazing psychic abilities of Cass, which Voyager really goes like, uh, it's really random about. Sometimes she's more like a uh, Counselor Troy, and sometimes she's almost like Q. And they go like back and forth between that and can't really decide. So it's really random, but this is the first episode that really introduces that. Like she senses something happening on a planet and then the planet they see has been destroyed. And the second thing they introduce, uh, this is the first political episode of Voyager. They did like several of those, like uh, nothing human or uh, memorial or remember or critical care or author author or uh, knight like lots of different uh, political episodes that uh, Voyager did and this is the first really early on in the series before we even fully know the crew and everyone and it's trying hard to say something like this one is obviously about nuclear energy they go to a planet uh, which has been destroyed by a very dangerous power source which the government and the company claimed was perfectly safe but it turned out to be super dangerous and destructive so it's obviously an allegory on um, nuclear power and it's so early in the series and uh, it's a really flimsy uh, political message it's like uh, I'm not a fan of nuclear power but uh, come on you can Put a little more effort into making a message about that it's really like thin really <laughs> surface level the uh, political message and the episode itself it's um it's like four episodes in if you count the pilot as two episodes that are voyager is already starting to be a typical voyager because uh they go to the planet and then there are some temporal vortexes and Captain Janeway of course goes back in time and uh, then figures out that she is the one who is responsible for destroying the planet by trying to prevent destroying the planet and it gets so Janeway like if you watched all seven <laughs> seasons of uh, Voyager you already you know, this is so Janeway because uh, it's always a uh, the cause of something completely ridiculous is the effect of something completely ridiculous that Captain Janeway caused being doing something completely ridiculous and solved it by doing something completely ridiculous and uh, but instead of saying something completely ridiculous she uses like a chain of 10 technical terms that do not fit together in any way like um, the destruction of the planet was probably called by an inversion of the subspace field uh, polarizing the invertrons of the quantum uh, subspace level uh, and she solved it by um, reinitializing the polaron uh, vertoron diversion of the interspace quantum what is just so Janeway like uh, uh, the Captain Janeway kind of talk <laughs> you know? this is already so typically Janeway because the uh, temporal anomalies inverted themselves through the tachyon impulse of their quantum uh, polaron level so she needs to um, recarbonize the inverse flux of the uh, micron uh, dissolution of, <laughs> you know it's this is not even the first episode doing it but it's the first episode you're feeling this is like I'm watching Voyager like <laughs> four, se four episodes in here you feel like uh, if you know Voyager this is absolutely like a Voyager episode. This is so Voyager. It's just a completely ridiculous premise uh, uh, that uh, bends back on itself uh, with Captain Janeway at the center and Captain Janeway causes it and Captain Janeway solves it <laughs> like a Voyager episode. And uh, for the cause she uses uh, 12 technical terms in a long chain that 
do not belong together or do not even mean anything. And for the solution, she uses 16 technical terms chained together that do not belong together or do not mean anything. And that's just so Voyager. And that's the point where it gets so Voyager. And uh, if you like starting the series from the beginning uh, with the gift of hindsight of people who watched it, I can tell you it. This episode, you can already decide if you're going to like Star Trek Voyager or if you're not going to like Star Trek Voyager, because here it already starts to be so Voyager. And if you like Star Trek Voyager, this is a cool episode. Like, it's not one of the best, it's not a highlight or anything, but it's a cool Voyager episode. It's like typical Voyager. And if you don't like Star Trek Voyager, then, uh, you know, you're not going to like this. Because it's so Voyager, it's so Janeway, it's so Captain Janeway. <laughs> yeah, so uh, four episodes in and um, this is like the point where you can decide are you going to like this series or not, because uh, right here you know uh, this is like a typical Voyager episode, am I going to like this or am I not going to like this? Here's your point of departure or uh, staying on boat and continue watching Voyager. There's some really great episodes coming in the future. This is not one of the great ones. This is just one of the average ones, like one of the typically Voyager ones. But here you can decide, are you going to still watch the series or not? Because this is like what this show is. This is like typical Voyager.